In this video, we're going to build a 737 gear handle from a 3D print file found in the show notes below. We're also going to use an Arduino Pro Micro to make a 56 button joystick, allowing us to expand physical controls as we add switches and buttons. Don't forget to hit that like button on the way out. Appreciate you watching. A buddy of mine's got a 3D printer, so he was nice enough to do this for me. Uh, he did it not on the highest setting, um, but uh, he could have gone a couple, one or two more settings higher for, for detail. But even this setting ended up working, I guess, just fine. I mean, it, it made all the pieces. Uh, painted it uh, with a flat black, black slash primer, and then started putting it together. So this little guy had to paint it uh, red, painted the rest of it with black. Um, this piece, the uh, screw goes on the bottom, and then the wheel. Uh, he printed two of these for me. The other one is being is drawing right now, but it just kind of slides in here and will sit inside of, of there. Again, I'm gonna probably just put some epoxy on the inside so when I push it in, it, uh, it, it holds nice and snug. Um, this is kind of a faux one. You have to drill it out. I left some epoxy in there, which you can't see when it's right side up. The idea is you grab on and then you pull it uh, to move it between the notches. Um, screw hole, and then there's another piece that mounts on the bottom side. I used epoxy to reinforce it. Again, it's on the inside. You won't see it because this is supposed to be at the edge of the sim, uh, but I used epoxy. Uh, and just an elastic band. If I had a small enough spring, I would have used it, but elastic band wrapped around a few times uh, actually works really, really well. And the hole that was there was already pre-drilled all the way through, screws into that. Same thing with the peg that goes here. It was pre-drilled, uh, well, not pre-drilled. The hole was part of the 3D print all the way through. And then I just hand screwed with the, just a regular screwdriver, just hand screwed it through. <coughs> And the material, the PLA is strong enough that the screws didn't, uh, didn't cause it damage. So then there's the side piece, which again, I painted with like a flat back with a, an epoxy. So that's gonna slide in there. I'm gonna put some screws in so that it, uh, it will stay like that. And then there are the uh, standoffs that were made. So again, for each side. So it'll be through there, through there, through there and be able to screw that down into uh, the plate of the sim. Same thing on the other side. Uh, there was a bunch of extra pieces that got printed. So um, again, there was it, this one was, was one solid piece, then the cone. Uh, this looks like it would be this guy. There's the hole, the screw hole, just like the other one had, but it looks like it would have been this part. And then you would have to glue the two pieces together. So I don't know if that's for somebody who may not have had um, a 3D printer big enough, or if they found that they had trouble getting the whole thing done uh, by doing this as two separate pieces, right? It wouldn't be as high, and so probably it would stay straighter. It just requires now that you, you have to make sure to align it properly, and then you'd have to epoxy it or glue it together. Anyway, this worked out really, really well. Up next, we'll be putting uh, act these, these sliding roller switches, um, getting them mounted into the box. Uh, what's nice, it actually has two stages. So there is a pin for normally open and a pin for normally closed. So this one's on the normally open. When that happens, it marks it as, as closed. So that'll be a button press. When released, they'll be open. But that could actually signify when this is open and make it work like an on-off switch if you wanted two states from the same switch. So that's kind of useful. You may not need it for this one. I'll do in the future. So now the switches are all in. The hot glue holding them, uh, the cables, nicely out of the way. Um, little stringers of glue, but whatever. Um, switches are clear, nicely available. Move this into the up position, nicely in, down position, nicely in, and the middle uh, locking. So uh, that's all nicely in place, nicely holding. And then what I did was I uh, used a few chunks of 
heat shrink tubing, just to wrap the cables up, make them uh, nice and clean. And so I just put one piece on, shrink it, then the second piece can overlap a little bit, shrink it, second next piece, shrink it, just because I don't have one really big, long piece. So next up, time to put uh, the sides and the pieces on. So just to finish it off, uh, once it's done, everything's in. I did put a little bit of hot glue on the back just to hopefully keep that, uh, that cable snug. So with that, uh, just waiting for the uh, handle piece uh, to finish being painted white. And now what we're going to do is uh, we'll program this guy. Here we are and I'm using Arduino 1.8.9 making a micro USB button box. Um, originally, when I did one of these ones, uh, you need at least uh, 1.6.6 .6 or above. So we're using uh, keypad.h and joystick.h in this one. And the reason for using those two is we need to define the keypad for setting up the rows and columns. So that's what allows us to use uh, some pins in a specific way. So hopefully this gets you the idea. You have rows and you have columns. And a row pin allows the button to connect it to a column pin. So for the standard 16 button keypad, you have four rows and four columns. So four row column or, or pins and then four column pins on the Arduino which gets you 16 buttons. So with a Pro Micro what you've got is a couple of pins here. These are digital pins uh, one and zero. It's actually one of these ones. It's actually zero and one. Then the ground pins and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then it gets weird it has no 11 or 12, it just goes to uh, 14. Skips 13 because they've already directly connected 13 for you to the LED pin, so you keep that for the LED. And then they exposed 15 and 16. And then you've got four of the analog pins. So we're gonna use the analog pins, those are your row pins, and then our column pins will be made up of the digital pins. And when you count up all the digital pins, essentially what you have is 14 columns. So four rows, 14 columns, that gets us 56 possible buttons. Since we have it plugged in, you can see right now the sketch is loaded and it shows button zero through 55, so 56 buttons. So how do we do this? What we've done is we've made uh, zero axis joystick because we're using the joystick.h library with uh, 56 buttons. So kind of like having a gamepad um, or a button box. Your keypad will configure uh, button 0 through 55 as we see over in the joystick show software. And here it talks about the fact that A3, A2, A1, A0 are your row pins for the keypad and digital zero through digital 10, and then 14, 15, and 16, the rest of the column pins. So button zero will be found when you connect analog three and digital 16, where A3 is the row and D13 is the column. Button 13 is gonna be found at A3 and D0. So now when we wrap around to the next line, button 14 starts at A2 with D16 and button 27 is A2 with D0. A1, D16 makes up 28, button 41 is A1 plus D0. So as you can see, the analog plus the digital will create the button. We include our two .h files, so our keypad and joystick files. Make sure you have those libraries installed. If you don't, it won't compile. Then we come and we're gonna define the information for our keypad. So the number of buttons will be 56, number of rows will be four, uh, number of columns will be 14. 
Now here's how we define the buttons of the keypad. So it's a byte, buttons, num rows, num columns, and we've created an array. So this array is to give us four rows and then our columns. So our 14 columns, and it's just kind of creating how the buttons and the keypad will be created. Next we go for the row pins. Now, this is the part you had to look up. So I did a simple Google search, and I think what I searched for was uh, analog, analog pin numbers, Arduino, oh my God. I think that's all I searched for. Yeah, that's all I searched for, and we got this image. And this gives us exactly what we need to know, which is analog zero is actually 18. It does look like as well, um, you could add additional analogs using the other pins, uh, but I didn't bother. So pin 21, pin 20, pin 19, and pin 18, right? You'll see that the digital pins always line up with the number next to it, 21, 20, 19, 18, exactly how we define the rows. And then we define the columns. So 16, 15, 14, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So exactly the pins, they do match the digital because the digital is doing the columns. We're gonna initialize. So keypad button box is equal to keypad make key map buttons. So define buttons, which came from this byte and then row pins, column pins, which we defined here, and num rows, num columns, which we defined here. Next up, we're gonna initialize the joystick. So here is the joystick. It is calling up joystick default property uh, report ID, uh, joystick type joystick, and this is where we tell it how many buttons, 56. This is where we tell it uh, how many axes. Here for sure is the axes and telling it which ones are true or false. If you make these true, it would be putting in an axis. And again, we're not using any of the analog pins for axes. We're using them for button box because there's none available. If I want to get into doing those joysticks, you need to get the full Leonardo, not the Pro Micros, because the full Leonardo has way more pins, especially more analog pins. So we're just defaulting this so that axes never show up. Hence why here you see no axes show up in, in this uh, joystick. So in our setup, we call joystick begin. And then in our loop, we're gonna call the function of check all buttons. And we put in a delay. Um, this delay of zero is a placeholder. It's good for debugging. If I find it's not picking things up, I can delay the loop so it takes a longer time between events, but so far it's not been an issue. So it's gonna call that function and that function is check all buttons. In it, uh, we're going to run an if statement, buttonbox.getKeys. So that's a function of the keypad. It's gonna go out and get the key. So for uh, i equals zero, i less than le uh, list max. List max is basically 56. i plus plus, so scan the whole key list. If button box dot, dot key i, so whichever one we're currently on in the for loop, has had a state changed. So only find buttons that have changed. So if nothing's changed, as in right now nothing's changed, doesn't find anything. Click, it's going to find something. And it's going to report something. Alright, so there you go. It's reporting something. Now it changes key state. So you go into a switch statement. So once it's found one, it goes into a switch statement because there are pressed, hold. So if it's pressed, if it's hold, joystick.button, button.x, character one. So set it true so that it, it's hot. In the case that it is released, that's the case idle, joystick, character zero. So it's held. Held, 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 released, go idle. And then of course break the case, jump out. So there you go. 
that is all you need to do. Of course, then you want to go to tools. We want to go to uh, board with these pro micros. They show up um, as Leonardo's. Um, these are like ten or nine dollar ones. So if you click on get board info, it actually is reporting itself um, as between Leonardo two three four one and a pit. So it thinks it's a, a Leonardo. So we might as well just stay with Leonardo. You see it show up as a USB modem. So once it's in, life is good. Uh, don't forget to save your sketch and then just upload it. It'll blink, and in this case, it goes away. When it comes back, Joystick Show is gonna bring in our joystick, and there we go. This would be our gear lever, gear down. In the middle, in the lock state, both are off, so we'll be able to code something, and then gear up. So what I'm probably gonna end up doing with SPAD next is that's gear down this will be a do nothing this will be a gear up thanks for watching don't forget to hit the like button subscribe if you like the content and leave a comment letting us know what it is that you'd like to see in future videos have a great day